you're already out of ideas for keeping the kids in, entertained. <laughs> it's a long summer sometimes, right? Uh, or maybe you're just craving a sweet treat for the kids. Well, our next guest got you covered. She's a pastry chef, author of Dana's Bakery, 100 Decadent Recipes for Unique Dessert. She also happens to be the founder of a local favorite, Dana's Bakery. So there's Dana. Dana Pollock is joining us now. Dana, it's Hi guys. good to see you. And I'm always fascinated. Uh, this is about, uh, we're going to make this traditional treat, but this is a second career for you. You're, you're trained in something else, if you will, a, a magazine photo editor. You switched and now you're a pastry Correct. chef. A lot of folks will hear that. Just give some quick, a quick tip of pointer for folks who are trying to do that type of pivot. A lot of pivoting during the pandemic, but... What, what would you tell somebody who's trying to make a big right. shift like that? So I went from muscle and fitness to owning a bakery. And if I can <laughs> do that, you can do it. You just have to follow that passion and have fun with it, right? Have fun with what you're doing, which is why we're here. It's what it's all about. Uh, fun, and that's a good tip. So fun, and we're going to go with it. And we're talking about s'mores here, but not the way right. we're used to. So what's first? What's unique first about this? And then tell me the first step. So this is a unique recipe because it's so easy to make. All you need are a few ingredients and a microwave, and it's kind of my spin on the Rice Krispie treat. It's a s'mores treat, and it's s'mores season. You can eat them all year round, literally. All right, we're starting so with what? I can show you how to but make them. Do you want to learn? Butter and marshmallows <laughs> is what they have on my list first. Yeah. So we have basically a bag of mini marshmallows. You need three tablespoons of butter. Um, you need a graham cracker cereal. So like a golden graham, a cocoa pebble, huh. like cocoa crispies type of thing, and some mini chocolate chips and some cinnamon. That's it, super simple. You're gonna put your microwave on. You're gonna do, you wanna melt the marshmallows and the butter. So we're gonna melt that in the microwave. When it comes out, you're gonna microwave it a little longer than I am. I, I, you know, did a little uh, a head start just so that we could be ready for you. Gotcha. You. Um, but you're going to take your marshmallows, you're going to mix it up, mix it up with the butter, just get it all mixed in there. And then you're going to transfer it to a larger bowl because you want to make sure that all of your food goes into your treats, not stuck on the bowl, right? And we all don't right. want anything falling out. I'm all about getting everything in the bowl. There's butter in there, so it's easy to transfer. You're gonna pour your cereal into the bowl. You can tell this is a really easy recipe to make, right? Yeah. Kinda hard to mess this one up. And your kids <laughs> can help you, which is really fun. I have two girls, they help me in the kitchen uh. all the time. <laughs> Throw in your other cereal, and then you guessed what's next. We're gonna mix it up. It's like a good arm workout. Oh, wow. You can hear the crunch, right? You can hear this. Now, how are we doing? How much more? Is it just the just stirring, like or how much more is going to end up being added to this? That's it. And then you're going to just sprinkle it with mini chocolate chips. Okay. Now, I'm a huge advocate of making recipes your own. The whole cookbook is really, um, we give you recipes, all classic nostalgic desserts, and I put our own spin on it. So we have a chapter for red velvet, we have a chapter for ah. s'mores, we have a chapter all about cereal. And under each chapter is, you know, five to 10 different recipes of all things that, you know, you could love to make. And I always tell people, make this your own. So if you don't like mini chocolate chips, put white chocolate chips on it, put ah. other cereal on it, whatever you want to do. And then we have make to cook this own. now? No, nope, you just let it sit. Oh. Get That's room it? temperature. And that's really all it is. And then you cut them up, and then you eat them all basically in one day. And we have like in, one day. Like wow. eat them all in one day. <laughs> <laughs> and we have ours here in front of us, I believe, that you sent over or someone yeah. here made. Dana Polly, it is such right. a pleasure to see you. Thank you for being here. You see the book here, folks, Thank Dana's Bakery. Me. It's available wherever books are sold. And you are local. We hope to have you here in the studio next time, all right? I will see you soon. Thank you so much. All right, Taylor. Thank you so much, folks. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.